Spooling up a spinning rail the proper way. Let's learn it. Welcome back to the Guggen Lab. Spinning reels are an essential tool for throwing light lures and many people start out throwing spinning reels because it's easy, you don't have to deal with uh, the backlash of a bait caster. However, there are tangles, bird nests that can occur with spinning reels, wind knots, and today we're gonna show you how to properly spool up a spinning reel so you're not having to worry about that nearly as much. So we're gonna go through all the steps and just make it real easy for you so you can do this at home and get to fishing. Now, one tip that I will say, if you're starting out using a spinning reel, investing in some braid will prevent a lot of tangles and going with a lower diameter, which just basically means you have thin line, there's, uh, there's less room for memory. This, this is for fluorocarbon mono or braid. It's just gonna cast uh, a lot easier and stay on your spool a lot smoother, come off the spool smoother. So I'm gonna be spooling up with 15 pound uh, a Guggen Squad braid, it's an eight strand, which also means it's just round, it, it's, it's very smooth on a spinning reel, more so than a four strand. First thing we gotta do, take our spinning reel, put it on our rod. So we're just gonna put this on. I have no line on here right now, we're starting from scratch. So one of the problems that happens with spinning reels, uh, especially using braid, is there's not enough tension on the line and sometimes you'll be fishing and you'll notice that your, your line is literally slipping off of the spool. It feels like your drag is slipping, but it's actually your line. So we wanna make sure we secure that. So we're gonna do that uh, two different ways. Uh, the first way is just using some electrical tape and a knot. So the first thing we gotta do is tie a uni knot around the spool. Now to make this extra secure, I'm actually gonna be using a monofilament base first. And I'm gonna use this to fill about a quarter of the spool. I'm using, this is eight pound monofilament. It's just wasted line I had off another reel. You, it doesn't have to be fresh, brand new line. This is, you're, you're never gonna see this once you put the braid on after it. So you can use you know some cheap line you've got laying around in the garage and just tie yourself a uni knot. And to show you how to tie the uni knot, I'm gonna use uh, this paracord right here. So we're gonna be making a loop out of this line. So what you wanna do is take the line, the tag end, come up here, make a loop like this. And then you're gonna come back down with this end behind this loop that you made. And you're gonna go through here a few times. Normally I would do three for a uni knot and then you wanna pull that tag end and that creates this loop right here and it'll tighten on itself. So when you start to pull that line, it'll tighten around the spool. You can use this on all of your fishing reels. Now that we got our knot tied, we're gonna go through the first eye right here on our spinning rod. So just thread that through here. And then we're gonna go around our spool of our spinning reel. This is a very important step. You want to open the bale. Open that bale first, then place that loop around there. Then you're gonna pull that until it's tight around the spool, there we go. Then just close your bale. There you go. You could probably get away with that, but to be extra secure, we're just gonna take a small piece of electrical tape and tape over that knot. Gonna take our electrical tape here, stretch it taut over that knot. There we go. Now it's not going anywhere. Now it's really important to have tension on your line as you're spooling up. So I've got my spare line just over here. It's not on a spool. What I'm gonna do is just hold my, my hand over the rod like this and I'm gonna pinch my line just up a ways right here behind that first, first guide. And I'm just gonna reel, tighten up my drag. If your drag is loose, that's gonna create line twists. So you wanna make sure your drag's tight. I'm gonna start spooling on some of this line until I get about a quarter of the spool filled with just this 
mono that was laying around. And me keeping tension on my fingers, finger pressure on this line is gonna prevent it from getting loose on the spool. Okay, we're just about there, there we go. Okay, now we got our mono base that is taped on to the spool. Now we're gonna do a uni uni splice knot. So the same knot we just learned, and we're just gonna do that with the braid and the mono. So create a uni knot on the mono, it's three wraps. Then we'll take our braid. This knot doesn't have to be very strong because unless you're hooking in to a redfish and it's pulling out like a hundred yards of line, you really don't have to worry about it. For bass fishing scenarios, you'll never see this knot. So we just want to thread this through our other loop and then we'll do the same knot. And then we just want to pull these together and then cut our tag ends. There we go. And if you want to see a more detailed look at this knot, you can check out one of our other videos where we're focusing on that connection knot. We're going to take our spool, we're going to lay it flat on the table or ground, whatever. The reason we're going to lay it flat is because the way it's going to come off the spool is going to be the same way it goes on to the spool of the spinning reel. So we're going to not have any line twists. If you were to do it like you would a bait caster, then you're going to get a lot of line twists. So that's why we lay it flat. And then we're going to take our fingers and we're just going to put medium pressure behind this first guide right here. We're going to put our guide right over the top of the spool. And it should just spool right off of there. Go on to our reel. You don't want to overfill your spinning reel. That's another reason you get line, line twists and wind knots. So don't fill it all the way. Somewhere between three quarters and full. Definitely don't want it spilling out over the edge of the spool. So now that we're full, we are good to go. You could do this in your yard, on the street, you could tie your line to a tree, just something to put some tension and stretch your line out. So you just wanna tie it with something that swivels on there that's gonna prevent line twists. Run all your line out to the mono base and then you're going to reel it in, walk your way up until you get all the way to the end of your line. This is going to ensure that your line is not crunching down into itself and causing backlashes and stick ups in your line. Now you're spooled up, you're ready to give it a dangle. So thanks for staying tuned here. If you wanna see more tips, you know what to do. Subscribe right here to the Guggen Lab.